Well, this is going to be take two tonight, and hopefully it goes better. Yeah, I got about an hour and a half into this, and then the game... Well, not the game, my, um... Capture card crashed, and I hadn't saved. So I effectively, you know, just had to just do a full reset, unfortunately. It's going to suck, because I really didn't want to have to go through uh, everything all over again, because the tutorial in this game is boring. Hey, my name's Nico. I'm a fairy from the dream world. It's somewhere between, you know, heaven and earth. Anyway, you ever heard the story of Jade Cocoon? Monsters wander through the forest. And people live in fear of them hiding in magical protection. That age is said to have lasted a long time. Yet that entire pack of monsters is said to have been sealed in the wormhole forest by the brave actions of a single hunter. So, pretty amazing, huh? Time passed and the saga faded to legend. And after a long period of silence, the seal was finally about to be broken. But, however... The time to assemble has come again. Save the world from the beasts of darkness. This recent Help Wanted ad stirred up the public by advertising, Make a quick buck in all the rank and honor you want. Come on out. Starting today, you too can be a hero. Yeah, magic and monsters. No matter how much you know about them, you still won't be popular with the girls. Much less attract them. Ta-da! This is the brave hero of our story. His name is Kahoo. He's a perfectly normal little boy who adores the legendary Cocoon Master. You call that normal? Well, we won't worry about that now. Thus, Kahoo begins his journey and heads to the temple to meet his hero. So I wonder, what will be young Kahoo's fate? It's gonna be a terrible fate. Involving raising monsters and getting cursed. I mean, come on. You can't touch the cocoon of a fairy without getting cursed, man. Is this the power of Do not wake them from their dreams. Hmm. This place is pretty small Ugh. inside. Now, how do I get to be a cocoon master? Maybe I'll ask someone. What, you think this was a TARDIS or something? But honestly, the only one probably worth talking to is this guy, because the other guy just gives you about like crap. Old man, how do I become a cocoon master? Cocoon master? That's a blast from the past. We're all beast hunters. Beast hunters? Is that a cocoon master? A super cocoon master? Think of it more like a super hyper cocoon master. Remember that. Anyway, you got a license here? A license? What's that? Do I gotta have one? Of course. Yeah. Go to the Jade Throne Room and train to get one. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, this guy will give you crap because he's like a hiring hunter that has like really special jobs or items to give you or something. And we can't do anything else here really because, you know, boom, we need a license. I honestly forget what this one does. This one I know controls the job board. Oh, whatever. Just head to the throne room. And probably tell Levant to shut up and not explain things. That way we can save on time. Because his explanations are long this and lengthy. Place is a lot smaller than I thought. Son, first time here. Sir, where's the chief? I want to be a cocoon master. The Nagi people are no longer here. Gone on a long journey, leaving my wife and I in charge of the temple. Now I alone protect the temple. Sir, are you the legendary Cocoon Master, Levant? <laughs> Who says I am legendary? As you see, I am quite alive. Since then, I have forgotten how long I've lived. Were I a normal man, should have died long ago. Ah, please pardon my bad habit of talking too long. May I continue? Yeah, I really have heard enough. I don't want to hear more, because you'll be at for days. <laughs> I see. Let's start your training. What's your name? My name's Kahu. 
I want to work hard and get strong like you, Levant. Pleased to meet you. Uh. A present from me to you. Take it. Yes, please take it. It's a very necessary item. A beast amulet. Which, honestly, I'm pretty sure it looks like it has the yin yang symbol on it. It is a beast yep. amulet. Man's only weapon for fighting against divine beasts. It is a magic amulet. Yeah, the divine beasts are a pain in the butt, man. The ancient scrolls of Gehenna. Gehenna? The Sea of Gehenna? Is that meant to be an odd reference to the Skya franchise? Cool. But, honestly, I just want to skip through this dialogue. I've played through the game before, so if you really want to listen to it, go watch the original. Um, yeah, I'll do it. Just let me skip through this dialogue real fast. Just boom, 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 boom. Shut up, I know. I know all the basics I need to know. I don't need them explained to me in detail. Yeah, Levant's not wrong. He never shuts up. Like, he talks for so long. If I let him talk, this episode will probably be like almost half an hour long. Just trying to explain the basics. Like, if you let him talk, you know, it just takes forever. Yeah, 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 I know. I need to go find the Ogre Vine. Plus, uh, the dialogue in this game is kind of a bit messy anyway. They went for some rather brutal translations in some places. Yeah, it's an Ogre Vine. Just go inside already. And how does he even know what we're looking at anyway? Can he see through my eyes? It's not like he's staying there with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we just get the egg in here and grab the key spore, which we gotta swallow? Ugh. Darn it. Yeah, this is the ogre vine. The female ones, the princess vines, have wormholes that take you to other places. And they can breed together to create more and more forests, so it's basically an ever-expanding hell going forever downwards. It just never ends. Of course, the islands are kind of rather small, but we need this egg. This is actually a rather rare one, so let's just take it with us. Yeah, but we haven't hashed it yet, so we can't use it. Can you just shush up? Some strange balls came out. The key spore. They open the buds on the princess vines as exits. In short, they are like keys to the next level. To find key spores, look for the sparkling stamens. Remember this. Now go on. And or just check every spores. ogre vine. I and he's gonna tell us to eat now. it. Now eat it. Don't hold back. Just swallow it. What? Yes, swallow it whole. Eat this thing. Eat it, and your body gives off odors that stimulate the princess vine. Stimulated by odors, the princess vine buds open. That's how it works. Ugh, this looks pretty weird. Just swallow it. You'll be okay. Beast hunters are yes. pretty rough. We'll be okay, but this is gonna suck. Huh? This thing has to taste like crap. Hey, something smells. Probably tastes like a devil fruit, you know. Your like body like is god awful. Musk spores. Now, find the exit. Right about now, the princess vine bud should be opening. Now go outside and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just shush. Mm, that sweet smell. Bet you ate a key spore. No, oh, that's just my axe body spray. Well, now I'll get back on what we're doing. Yep. Gotta go through this princess vine. Look, see it spark. You can go. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me it's sparkling. Okay, I can see. I am not blind. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> go ahead. Now we gotta exit. If you try and explore this area without going back, he'll yell at you, because you can find some targets in here. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't need to get reminded that I can return to the temple at any time. Come on. Oh, I hit the X button so many times, it keeps triggering it. Gosh darn it. Ugh, that just sucks. Like, just shush up, Levant. Like I said, you know, when I did the initial recording, I didn't shut him up and let him talk, but it took me almost 17 minutes to get to this point originally. Like, just quickly passing through his dialogue has saved me, you know, like, good, like, seven minutes off my runtime so far. 
And he's not even telling me new things, because, you know, this is a revisit, so I really don't care about being told about the basics. Like, that stuff, you know, not needed. So let's go hatch our, um, egg. Unfortunately, we can't get two, um, eggs on the fire side to start with, unfortunately. I got a divine beast egg. What do I do now? Well then, shall we hatch the egg? Yes. But why is hatch in air quotes? What else are we going to do with the egg? Scramble it? But I love how she just has to explain everything in the most basic way possible. <sighs> Though, I guess those do look like claws there. Bit of an odd choice. But whatever, we do get ourselves a relatively rare creature. Okay. Yeah, I need to name it. Darn it. Guess we gotta go this way. Well, since it's red... I don't want it to be the red chew, because that's boring. And velvet's more of a material than a color. So I guess we'll go with crimson. Oh no, it seems like it's setting ourselves up for the crimson rain, but we don't have enough room for that. Unless we don't put a space in there. Which, you know, I want to, so we're going to be the Crimson Chew. And not the Chew from Yu Hakusho, we're not naming ourselves after that, we're naming ourselves after a mouse. After all, that's sort of what you turn into. So that's what we're going to go with. Well, I guess I could have entered a random option there. Yes, burn hit. And yeah, they're pulling him right there so you're not open to being attacked. Because if you get hit, you know, it's it's game over because you only got one shield. Well, actually, I guess that means you need two hits. One after you get your shields broken. Ugh, though fighting with Divine Beast is a bit annoying. Yeah, I guess we should head to the arena, maybe? So we can learn the basics of combat. Well, let's go talk with Moo, I guess. How about no? I don't need to know the basics. Can we just get the part where I get free egg? Yeah, if you can use R1 and L1, or you can use the D-pad to rotate this uh, formation to select different options, like, you know, setting up yellow to spray status effects at the enemy, so you can put them in, like, sleep, or poison them, or do some other, you know, dick maneuver. That gives you a tactical advantage. Admittedly, I focus more on filling up red and blue first. Because red's for attacking and blue's for recovery. And I like just being able to bust through, you know, like I'm a paladin or something. Because it's one of the easiest options. And green does um, buffs. So it can set up barriers and raise stats for your attack or defense. I admit I really should probably use that side a bit more, because boosting my stats would be really helpful in some fights, I'm sure. It tends to be one of my lesser used options, though. Or you can use a set of barriers, like the protect yourself from attacks or less than damage. Like, you can do stuff with these guys, you know, if you put effort into it. But I tend to cut corners, just focus on the, um push my way through with the glass cannons strategy. I also don't know if we're going to get Chrome Beast this run or not. Because Chrome Beasts are really rare. There's like a 1 10,000 chance one will pop, pop up when you do a fusion. Um, no. I really don't. So can we just stop the fighting? Well, let's see. Water is helpful. I guess I'll take Earth to have a change of uh, usual circumstance. Plus, I can get water anytime. Oh, I never see what she says fighting. when she does this. You must be a hard working type. You fought hard. This ends trying yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you just please hand over the free creature? Hey, it's gonna be already no hatched man. for us, though. We're just talking to Moot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This guy's gonna explain we need to come back here later. We need to take advancement tests, and yeah, obviously Moo's cuter than you are. Of course! With that mask over your face, I can't see you too well. Oh, you nasty little... Thought you might be right. I am wearing this mask. <laughs> Since yeah, you're because he's a favors Augs, I think. You want to power up that beast amulet you're wearing? Wow. Can... Yeah, yeah. I, I really don't need you to tell me about advancement tests. Of course, to advance to the advancement test, you need to have a certain level of reputation, which means you gotta spend your time doing jobs for other hunters. And if you don't do them, you know they don't really respect you much. But until I get a license, I can't do any advancement. I can't work on any of that stuff, so we're gonna have to head back to the throne room for now. Because without a license, I can't even hit up the shop. Other than to get reminded that's expensive. Well, it's a hundred for the basic um, eggs, so it's not too bad, I suppose. I passed my beast Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, but it's not very complicated to do that much. An instructor. So yeah, now we gotta take a, a hands-on test by uh, taking on an instructor. Yeah, yeah, can we just get to the part where I beat people up? Seriously. I like to get to the part where I get cursed, you know, sometime today. But yeah, if you get defeated in the forest, you just lose all your stuff. Which is why, you know, you should try and head back, you know, if you feel like you're starting to get outmatched. Like, oh, I'm being push to my limits, I should probably head back to town, you know? Because you can return for free. There's no cost to using, you know, the return function. It's like the returner in um, Crimson Tears, as I was working on earlier. Albeit I only got the first part of that recorded, because I then ran to a boss that broke my sword, despite being made out of water. Yeah. The enemy was made out of liquid, and they still managed to snap my sword in half. I call bullshit, but, you know... Weapons break in that game. It just seems strange it broke on the watery body, you know, of a monster. Of all things. Oh, well, we're gonna need that. Mel's elixirs are useless because they recover MP. They're not super powerful, obviously, because they're the first one you come across. But you are gonna want to use them. Okay, we got initiative, so we can hit first. And we can try going for the kill here. Now, admittedly, you know, we're not always going to have the initiative, but finishing off fast is probably better. Now, admittedly, the ones you don't use only get, like, less than half the experience. Oh, and I also forgot, you know, eggs you hatch, you know, and aren't using, they'll also gain experience, so, you know, feel free to hatch eggs if you want. They won't evolve into their, uh, old, their more adult forms, which kind of sucks, but, you know, you, you have to work with it. Because, you know, when you evolve into your more um, powerful states, you know, you get faster growth. Which is why developing your evolution chart is so important. Because after a certain point, it's hard to level up in this game. Like, you can level up normally about four or five times to fusion range, and then you start to just cap out. You just aren't going to get enough fast enough. Okay, I guess I'll smack this thing once. Ow. I can't heal, though. Because we decided to go the um, defensive route. Okay. Let's set up a barrier, I guess. I definitely know next thing we're getting, though, is a healer. And I might just take that thing off the wheel. I just wanted to find out what she would say, because I always pick a water unit. And I have no real interest in picking up, you know stas units they're, they're always last on my list of things to get involved with oh a healing item nice not the most useful of finds though of course I think we might have already hit all the beasts up unfortunately oh yeah that guy just gives you some basic advice he's not who we're looking for so we might as well just move on Oh, there was a third fight here. Cool. Okay, let's set up a barrier, I guess. After all, this thing, if nothing else, is a defensive tank to help us out. 
Honestly, I probably should just go back to using the D-pad. Oh, well, that was nice. I wasn't expecting the critical, I was expecting to actually get some use out of the barrier. Oh well. At least it helped me level that guy up another time. Oh, there's a fourth fight. Well, boom! Did I get initiative? I tried hitting it from behind. Sweet. Okay, first things first. Let's set up a defensive barrier. After all, that barrier should last. Give me a chance to get through this without getting hurt. Oh, it didn't make it fall, huh? Guess it didn't hit hard enough. But yeah, I can't tell uh, my units not to use their special skills in this game. You don't have that option. It kind of always annoys me to a certain extent because, you know, you're constantly using up all your MP. So you gotta bring along lots of Mel's elixirs. I mean, they're not super expensive, but it's still, you know, an expense you gotta, gotta think about. Or you gotta, you know, just hope you get lucky and find them on your way. And I guess I'll save here, just in case things go wrong. So that'll do it for this episode. Next time we'll finish up the tutorial and get ourselves cursed. Until then, see ya.